VBA. In this video, we're going to be looking at named ranges. We're going to be looking at a couple things. We're going to look at what a named range is in Excel, and then we're going to look at just what you can do in code. Um, they're pretty nice, actually. You can. Uh, we're going to be looking at just a static named range, but you can actually put in dynamic ranges using an offset function. Um, that's pretty advanced, so we're not going to go over that today, but uh, that's pretty cool. So, here's what we're doing. So, the first thing you want to do is if you had something that's set up, set up like this, so really all we have is some items, unit cost, forecast, cost, and price, kind of what your estimated cost and your estimated sales are gonna be from a, from a dollar standpoint. And all I have in here is just a, it's a really simple formula. Um, you're just gonna put in whatever your, um, you put in whatever your markup is and it's gonna calculate that for you. So here's what we're gonna do. So to add a named range, you're gonna to go to formulas and you're gonna to go to named manager. Now the first one we're gonna do is we're just gonna name this one right here. We're gonna to go to name manager, we're gonna go new, and you'll notice that it actually throws in what it thinks that you're looking for. So in this case, it's looking for goal markup. So we're actually just gonna use that because that actually is what we want to do. So now we wanna add a couple more so you can actually uh, do it two different ways. We're going to add a forecast. We're going to go to define name and you're going to just click define name. Now it does the exact same thing. Now if you wanted to change that you could actually just put that information in here. Click on that, change your range, you'd be good to go. But since we're formatted in a table or what looks like a table, Excel smart enough to know, hey, we're naming this range. Do the same thing for cost. Now let me just show you a shortcut real quick. You can actually come in here and you can type cost and if you hit enter, now you have to hit enter. If you don't hit enter, then it won't work. You're gonna click class and it's gonna actually shows up your name, shows in your named range. We're gonna do one more, we're gonna use the define name, we're gonna add it, we're gonna be good to go, we're gonna to go to our name manager. There are all of our ranges. So we've got cost, forecast, goal, price, and markup. Now, what can you do with these? Well, you can do a couple things. One, you can go to them with this drop down. All right, you'll notice that if I'm over here, it's gonna give you whatever cell uh, you're in. So in this case, I'm in L8. But I can actually go to any of these information, any of these, I just click on that. Now, what's nice is you can go to them on any sheet. So that's one of the things that makes these really handy. So how do you use these? Well, I've got a formula here. I've got, you know, I've got this times this times that times this, this purple one. So we're gonna just change this to goal markup. You'll notice that it, it actually auto-populates that information, which is awesome. So we're gonna do the same thing for forecast. We're gonna do sum, and I'm just gonna type in, it. and you notice when I type in forecast, it actually says, wait a sec, I've got a named range here. I'm gonna use that, and I'm gonna use that for my sum. Same thing with cost. It pulls that in if you fill out the whole thing. We're going to do sum of price. And it really makes your formulas look significantly nicer. So how do you use this in, in Visual Basic? Well, let's, let's, I'll show you how to do this. So you would use them like any other range. The only difference is you're not referencing the cell range. So for example, I wouldn't be referencing, if I wanted to add up cost, I wouldn't be referencing, you know, D16 through through E20 or D16 through D23, I would actually just have to reference cost. So let me show you what that looks like. We're gonna do sub, we're gonna N M E R N G, that's the name range, and we're going to change our goal markup. So we're gonna go range, goal, markup is equal to we're gonna drop it, which is unfortunate, but that's, you know, profit margin slip, and that happens sometimes. We've got code here. We've got our range goal markup. It changes it to 15%. All of our formulas update. It's awesome. Now, the nice thing about this is if you've heard, if you've listened to any of my videos, it's good to have strict code. So in this case, the strictest code that we could do would be sheet one dot, sheet one dot and then I would put in my goal markup. But the nice thing about this is I can actually be on a different sheet. I can process this. 
and I'm going to process 35% because all of a sudden margins are up. It's a good thing. And you'll notice that that changes that. So we, we also have these ranges. So we've got ranges like price. So we could go range price dot select. And you'll notice that it selects that range. Now this is one that would give you an error if you were on sheet two. And the reason is is because you're not actually on you're not on sheet one, so it's going to give you an object. Um, you'd actually have to hit do sheet one dot select first because you would want to select that range or select that sheet, and then you would select the range. So that's really a, a kind of a quick overview of the named ranges. Now, just one one um, quick caveat on these on these guys. If you come in and you delete that, so we're going to delete goal markup. So I come in and I delete it. Excel is not actually going to change your formulas. So you're going to end up with some errors, right? So we've got goal markup. Now it doesn't change what's in that cell, but I've got I'm going to end up with some dot name errors. So if you do use if you do use name ranges, you want to make sure that you truly use them especially if you're coding them because now now I don't have a goal markup and I'm going to get a runtime error which are always a pain. So here's a quick run rundown of named ranges. Make sure that you subscribe into the Everyday VBA YouTube channel. Also make sure that you are liking my videos. If you have any questions or comments please leave those. Hope you enjoyed.